I'm Mornet, and along with my brother and hiking buddy Angus, decided to do some long distance walking in Ireland because we couldn't really go anywhere else. The Ireland Way is the longest walking trail in the island of Ireland. It consists of the Ulster Way to the north of the border and the Bear Brefin Way to the south, which is what we've decided to start with. The Bear Brefin Way breaks up again into 12 national waymarked trails, six of which we have completed. Our seventh section, the Ormond Way, is an 83 km linear trail to County Tipperary and took us a long weekend to complete. Oh, look at her in a kitted out. Totally kitted out with this. Ready to go some, do some night hiking? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. The advantage of this at least is that we're going to be, like, by the time we find somewhere to camp, it's going to be, like, night time anyway. And we're starting the Ormond Way, just like that. A race against time to yeah. get off this road before it gets dark. Hence the, uh, you know, fancy light on my head. And Angus's orange backpack cover. Yeah, yeah. We're hoping well, that it. Also for speed. <laughs> All right, someone come on. Busy road. We have started the Ormond Way. Um, we started out in Portumna and we were at the Ferry Inn. The very lovely Teresa organized us to stay at the Friars Tavern in Laura. And um, when we were walking, we were almost at the trailhead when Lil picked us up and brought us here and we camped out in the Friars Tavern. Mm -hmm. And she just came out and gave us a pint each. Yeah. <laughs> I obviously, I obviously couldn't wait. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think we're just going to take it easy tonight. We probably won't do the very start from the beginning of the trailhead to Lorha. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. But I mean, like, you know, when the trail provides, you got to go, got to go with it. We weren't really expecting anything. So uh, this is uh, pretty, pretty great. The Ormond Way, it's the place uh, to be. <laughs> sort of, so, so far off to a good start. Day one, realistically. Or day point five. Of the Ormond Way. Uh, so we're doing about 29 kilometers from Laura to Clock Jordan, mostly on road by the look of things. There's very little to stop at on the way, not very many shops or coffee shops, so we're just gonna keep walking. The weather is, we're getting mixed reviews, so hopefully it's pretty good. Bit drizzly. It's not cold, that's the main thing I guess. It's already not what to expect, but um optimistic, feeling good. Great night of camping. Great night of camping here at the Friars, Friars Tavern. Tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Friars Tavern. <laughs> Literally spot rotten. Got some coffee, real coffee. Real coffee's always a bonus. Lack of luxury. We were expecting to be wild camping in a field or something like that, and we got a we got this great A treatment, so. Yep. It's gonna be a long day, but hopefully the next couple of days will be much easier because of that. So, um, let's hit the road. Let's go. And then this is where we go out of Laura. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, 
I do not see, oh, no. There's no sign of a yellow man here at all. There's one there on that post. You can't see him like. Yeah. I'm starting to regret my decision of wearing shorts. It's only a little bit overgrown, right, Ingo? Yeah, I'm already bleeding. Now the question is, do we go along here or do we go along here? Let's go here. Oh god, nettles is a terrible hurt. <laughs> made it. And then there's like a proper path up here. Is there? Yeah, I promise. Okay. So it took us a good five minutes to get through that. So thankfully we've got a nice clear path ahead of us now. You know, it's a good thing that these gates are open because uh, some of the styles are definitely overgrown. There's a way marker to go northbound, but no way marker southbound. Oh, the only reason we know is because there's a style there. Oh, what a lovely style. Like there was a ball in there Behind There's a pheasant in the field Be a bit lost going northbound here. is a medieval kingdom of Ormond 12th century tower house, an O'Kennedy stronghold, rebuilt in the 16th century. It's managed today by the Office of Public Works, or OPW, but you do need to cross private farming land to access, and there are no signs or directions on how best to approach it. We did happen to bump into relatives of the landowner as we stopped for a break at the gate, who assured us it was okay to take a look, so we did. Best check with locals or find the landowner on what access requirements are if you do plan to stop for a visit. There is a lovely view from the top, but there's also a strong smell 
from the nesting birds. One interesting fact about the King Castle is in the 18th century, a manuscript called the Stowe Missal, which was rewritten in Laura in the 11th century, previously thought to be lost, was found behind the walls of the King Castle in a jeweled box. These are now kept at the Royal Irish Academy in Dublin. We're about five kilometres from where we started and uh, we're taking it nice and handy. Uh, these cows have been, or these little cows behind us have been quite, uh, quite vocal about our presence. 24 to go. We aren't making great time, but that's because it's been really overgrown fields so far. Yeah. And it's a lot of road sections now, so we'll probably fly, fly through a good 10k maybe before our next break. Mm -hmm. yeah. And fingers crossed we'll make it to Clock Jordan for bedtime <laughs> yeah our feet are soaked <laughs> it's great uh, but it's been nice walking so far uh, in spite of it being overgrown this time of year it's just everything grows like crazy it's been like raining and sunny and warm so like I'm not gonna give out to farmers for being overgrown because like there's not really a huge amount you can do about it this time of year um, I'm sure Angus is in support now of his new favorite county yeah 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 I bought a hat you know supporting local business all that kind of thing in Laura it's pretty cool it's very comfortable it fits my gigantic head uh, and it's uh, I'm actually quite cold for one, so yeah, good timing. Yeah, and Laura had a good market we popped into as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, all good. Onwards. Onwards. Trying to figure out if we're going straight ahead past these cows, but there's a load of water there, or if we're supposed to follow this road, which might potentially be private but the maps say that we're supposed to take a road down that way so I'm gonna follow the arrows which point down this way not where those cows are found a way marker happy days it's really nice thank you landowner this year we've decided to download hiker the app and use it to follow trails mm -hmm. and I think maybe they just need to update their app in that particular part and um, because it now follows through a private land yeah. like basically past somebody's house and it cut off a kilometer off walking on road so great. great thank you Ormond Way people yeah thank you landowner <laughs> um, because then that means that we had one less kilometer to do Hopefully. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and replace it with a very, very pleasant 500 meters or less. And so far we have found the Hiker app to be really, really great. We kind of got addicted listening to their podcast over um, lockdown three, whatever that was. It's just kind of useful because you can download your maps offline and you can kind of pinpoint where am I on the route. And because it follows the trail and not you know, Google Maps where you're like, well, I can't actually see a road here. It's quite useful. So if we feel like we're off trail or maybe we're expecting a turn off some point, it's useful to see where we are. And it's Irish. Oh <laughs> yeah.
arrived at Eglish. Eglish. That was all road, all the way here from the castle. castle yeah. But it's nice. It's like a beautiful countryside. Just uh, plenty of road. Yeah, and more road now on to Ballingarry. Hard to keep us happy, isn't it? Yeah, really hard. It's like, oh, it's too wet, too much field, oh, too much road. Yeah, our feet are drying out, at least mine are. Are yeah. yours drying out? Yeah, actually, yeah. And the weather's lovely, so it's been pretty good walking. Yeah, might take a quick water break now, maybe, and uh, hit the road. <laughs> So this should be a pretty straight, look at the maps, very straight section of road all the way to Ballingarry. And it's about seven kilometers. Seems, uh, seems pretty pretty busy as well already in comparison to other roads, obviously not right now. <laughs> okay, I was wrong about being a busy road. We saw one car, I thought it was busy. Yeah, but you pull it from. Should be able to pull it. I'm um, off and then walk around. It's actually such a relief to see forest after all that road and um, especially after our little obstacle course of lack of a style and electric fences. There were lots of electric fences and they didn't have like the handles that you can use to open up and go past or they weren't like there wasn't enough give to lift it up. So there's lots of going over, going under. I think how many do we have like six or seven in the end? What electric fences? Six or seven. Electric fence is there. Like, felt like more than that. Don't forget the barbed wire. Yeah. Anyway, we survived. And now we're in this lovely forest, which is so nice.
All right, well, we're in Clock Jordan, day yeah. two. Day two, uh, heading towards a past Tomb of Art, maybe do about 25k today. So we have 50k left of the Ormond Way between today and tomorrow. And the sun is shining, it's a great start. Absolutely lovely day. We stayed last night with the lovely Marion, and um, she's on Airbnb just off the Ormond Way, so mm -hmm. that was perfect. Just across the road from the Bear Refuge Way sign. 12 kilometers to Tomb of Ara. Mostly road. Mostly road, uh, a few off road sections, but we're hoping to camp somewhere between there and Temple Dairy this evening. Fingers uh, crossed. Yeah, looking good. Feeling good? <laughs> Feeling alright? Yeah, I'm tired. Like, long day yesterday. Long day yesterday. Uh, and it's really. No, it's nice. We're, yeah, we're gonna get some stuff in Clock Jordan where we are today. Sancho or. Centra or Tomb of Ara. There's a centre in Tomb of Ara as well. So. Plenty of places for us to go today, so which is great. But then not much after that. Yeah, so. Yeah, on we go. On we go. We've made an executive decision to go around that field and then through it. Just because yesterday we got our feet really wet going through long grass and our feet are dry and we'd like to keep it that way today. I don't know, I'm just uh, ticks and such. There'll probably be like a style on the other side that's covered in nettles again. <laughs> yeah. 
open thorns and the man who was like on the committee for the government way basically told us not to go into the field. Just before the M7 we met a fella, Matt Walsh, he was very nice to us, uh, said if there was ever a walker stuck around the area, give him a shout. But yeah, no, he just kind of said like, look, if you get to that field and it looks overgrown, just walk around it, it's grand. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. It doesn't make very much, it doesn't make no difference to the length of the distance. Yeah. So. I'll just go around it. Almost in Timbavara. Yeah, lovely field, but yeah, it's not for, not for walking. Not a bad field, just very grown. Tumivara. Tumivara. Tuma Tumivara. Tumivara. Had uh, some lunch, ice cream, coffee. We're all uh, fueled up now. Fueled and watered, although all we need now is a nap. Yeah. <laughs> it's so warm and we're so full. Got a stamp as well in the Tipperary Inn. We're a day early, they're opening up tomorrow for food. 12 kilometers done, 12 to do hopefully today. So let's keep going. Yeah, woohoo! Woo! Crossroads. Yes, literally and figuratively. The cross of Latera. Just stopped off at St. Oren's graveyard and monastery, mm -hmm. the ruins. It's an active graveyard, which you didn't realize until somebody came to visit a grave. The Sport Ireland map. Which are the most truthful and ones that we've been following and trusting. Tells us that there's a route to go down this way. Now, if we go this way, we basically do like a U and we come back to meet this road again which is like about maybe a kilometer if not less but the loop it brings you to is like five kilometers when we were looking at the map we were like geez what 
There must be something nice down there. Yeah. Like, must be something nice. There must be. <laughs> so you're like, let's do it. Yeah. But now that we've gotten here, the signs up ahead are telling us to go straight with the cycle lane. So, I mean, like, what's most up to date here? Is it a hint? Yes, it goes a little bit along the banks of the Nina River, but we'll be going down the banks of the Nina River anyway. Mm -hmm. They're worth it. Part of me thinks we should just do it. Maybe, maybe I'll do this way and Arna can do the other way. Or vice versa, or whichever, maybe we'll flip a coin or something. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to make a decision. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, confusing. I mean, the signs. Right, we're mad, we've decided. Yeah, we're mad. Well, we're gonna do the bit that we were gonna do anyway, and not follow the sign, and add on an extra four slash five kilometers. Yeah, and then if the route is updated to just be you know this direction then do this direction yeah. if you like the look of this and you don't like the look of the shorter route do this yeah well we give it a review out of 10 at the end yeah we'll review it this. and we'll be like yeah. skip don't skip skip yeah yeah oh yeah skip we'll or let, don't skip exactly. we'll let you know It's a way marker. Now. Yay, overgrown style. Does it say bull infield? We've had to take a slight detour because of the crazy amount of brambles and oh my god there's even more brambles here so much stinging yeah. just like that much bramble bush we're gonna regret wearing shorts Briar patch avoided, but not completely unscathed. Straight on. Enter another briar pr patch. Briars. What's going on? And 
Congress. My camera broke, so phone coverage will have to do. This is the next. A relief from getting through the overgrown patch of briars and nettles was soon deflated by the stumbling blocks we faced with waymarkers. Glorious escape. A locked gate prevented us from entering a lane as marked on the map, but we hoped the waymarkers would set us straight. However, as we couldn't find the next one, we just were left wandering aimlessly in a sports pitch with compass tapes. We eventually decided to just hop a fence as we could see the next waymarker and we crossed the Nina River. We noticed that some of the waymarkers appeared to be damaged and questioned if the route had changed and if we were now trespassing. Once we were on a public road we felt slightly better, but as the daylight was fading we became increasingly concerned that we wouldn't find a place to camp. This is where the road comes back, where we like diverged, was about like 500 meters up that way. And we've been walking for, I don't know, <laughs> like I want to say three hours, four hours through like basically poorly waymarked, obstacle course, nettle ridden, just, I don't know. Um, so when you like, just follow the signs, don't do what we did because it was not worth it. But I'm sure Ornit will talk more about this in the in the video when she's editing it. But 500 meters up that way could have spared us hours of unpleasantness. My heart's pounding. That's a steep hill. I haven't dealt with any hills at all thus far, really. So I think it's not even that it's a steep hill. It's just a hill.
and at last we spotted Upper Church. That's it, we made it back to the van at the end of the Ormond Way. Last style. All right, so we never filmed an outro for the Ormond Way. I, I tried to anyway. I was incredibly grumpy. My feet were killing me. My legs were killing me. And my overall stamina, energy, it was just very low. But yeah, I mean, I think I did enjoy quite a lot of the Ormond Way. No, there wasn't really a huge amount of accommodation. Um, it was handy for us to camp out. This was like the first section of any mounted hills that we had really come across for probably, I don't know, I am, you can put it in afterwards, but like a few hundred kilometers realistically. Like, so, it, you know, we were a bit like, oh my gosh, a hill, you know? But it was, it was great, like genuinely the views were, were really nice. The, it's kind of like rolling countryside, obviously the hills aren't actually that bad. I, I, I look back on that weekend quite fondly, in spite of the fact, I don't know, maybe Orna can put in a picture of like my legs as well at the side here. Uh, afterwards, after walking through the, uh, the, the nettly and thorny bit, because it was, there was considerable damage done. Skip or don't skip that section. Skip that section. Definitely skip, skip that, that section. section. Yeah, skip, skip that it. section. Um, I think they're still developing the route, so we did get in touch with um, someone from the committee of the Ormond Way just to give them feedback on the trail. Just they did let us know that they're still redeveloping the route, so I think they hopefully will have updated the maps in Sport Ireland um, to show that. Like, so it is one of the newest routes in the Bear Breffney Way section. The more walkers it gets, I guess, the more it's going to be developed. Even though, like, this feedback sounds. Uh, like negative. I, I still would rate the route highly and I think a lot of that stuff will be resolved. Beyond that it was great. Out of the routes that we had, out of the, the, the sages that we had done so far I think it was probably one of my favourites. Really? Genuinely yeah. Okay. I don't play favourites but I quite liked it. But again I liked it very so as evidenced by the hat. Okay so next is the Multine Way. Next is the Multine Way. We've, at the time of filming we've already done that. Come okay. back. Come back for the Multine Way. I thought, uh, yeah, come back for that one, yeah, watch that one as well. And all, surprises. The, all the other ones, a few likes, chuck a, chuck a subscribe there, you know, I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Hit that, hit that bell notification. I should, don't do any of those things, just enjoy the videos, that's it. Yeah, if you like the videos. There we go. Jeez, we're gonna be, we're gonna be a bit like gauche in this one, hey. Oh, I love pick, 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 pick. Oh, I love pick. Yeah, corner to her dynamic stretches. Yeah. Let me go faster, alright. This trouble is real. Where is something? This is a nice place, no idea. I'm so tired. Oh my god. Help. 